All right, everybody. We're unveiling the new file uploads for forms add-on here. And David's put together a few slides to kind of cover some of the use cases, some of the benefits, and what you can do with the file uploads form add-on. So if it's okay with you, David, may I pass it over? Yeah, so it basically allows whether members or users, depending on the form, to upload and add files when they're submitting a form on the website. Even though it does seem like simple functionality, it really does have a lot of different use cases and can be a, a pretty powerful tool depending on what you're using it for. So first things first, figured we would go over the supported file types. This should cover virtually all use cases for this feature, but it will support all of the major image formats, so JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, WebP, PDF files, as well as all Microsoft Office files, both the old file extensions as well as the newer file extensions. So for example, for Word, you have the older .docs as well as the newer .docxs. So all of these Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDFs, and images uh, can be uploaded and attached to form submissions. And so going over which forms this can be enabled on and how you might want to use them. First one being the lead form. A lot of us are using this on the get matched page on the website. So if you add the file upload field to the get matched form, users will then be able to upload files to maybe provide additional information to support their quote request. So for example, if you have a interior design website and users are coming to your site to get connected with interior designers, and somebody wants to submit a quote request to find out how much their project might end up costing them, it might be beneficial if they attach a PDF of maybe like their floor plan or certain images that they wanna pull inspiration from, things like that. So it could give your members a lot more information for what these specific website visitors and potential clients are looking for. The next one being the member contact form. Similar vein, but this would be most likely for users interested in contacting only specific members. So again, this could be, you know, if you have a, a professional's directory, it could help give the members more information from the users, depending on what kind of inquiry it is. The next one being the member verification form. This is actually a really powerful tool that you can enable member verification, you know, kind of similar to like what Twitter does with the blue check marks or Facebook or YouTube even, but basically puts an additional form in the member's dashboard that they can fill out, provide additional details to you, the website administrator. And based on those additional details that they're providing to you, you can then choose whether or not to verify their listing. And so in this, maybe you would want to have them upload, for example, maybe a photo ID or a business license or something else like that, that really can't be included in just like a, a, a text form field, but really does need to be a separate file that needs to be attached with the form submission. So this could really come in handy in that application. And then last one here, post-publishing forms, files can actually now be attached to published posts. And when a post that has a file attached to it is published, uh, there will be a download button uh, so that users can access that file. So for example, if a event post has been published, maybe there's a meal or a drink voucher that users can download. So instead of just attaching that as an image to the post, uh, you can attach that as like a PDF that they can download and print out or access on their phone. So a lot of different ways this can be utilized and ways that can really provide a lot of additional value to your members, uh, as well as just your, your general website users and visitors. Yeah, I want to I want to stick with that lead form one. You know, when we started BD, before we started BD, we had our own directory. Uh, we had uh, quite a few directories. Mainly was an interior designer directory to find designers, uh, decorators, or architects anywhere to help with uh, updating homes and things like that. And the lead form was really popular. Uh, we had a lot of visitors uh, filling out the lead form to get connected with the designer. And we even took the time to verify those leads. We'd, we'd call them, try to extract more information before we match them with the members so that the lead had good quality and value uh, to ensure that the designers would want to purchase the lead. I can't tell you, I wish we had this file upload uh, tool right now because if the visitors could upload pictures of their spaces along when they fill out the lead form, 
the sell through rate for a lead, you know, we match them with, you know, X amount of designers and uh, up to three designers can purchase a lead. The sell through rate would be a lot more because uh, there's more credibility with that lead. Uh, there's more authenticity and they could see that it's a real request. So I think the lead form is going to be a big use case for this. And also when there's job listings, if you want to, if someone's posting uh, a job opening and you can have the form where people can follow up with that job request, they can now upload their CV or resume when they're filling out the form, trying to apply for the job or, or just to send a message that they're interested in the job. Uh, so the member who posted the job opening can now receive resumes if you customize that get matched form and add an upload field for and call it like upload your resume. Uh, 